Roger de Clerc. Roger de Clerc, July 27, 1924, October 23, 2015, was a Belgian entrepreneur and CEO of the Beaulieu Textile Group. An international businessman, his family was ranked 15th place in a list of richest Belgians. During his lifetime, he was controversial due to a series of scandals where he and his company were accused of fiscal fraud. Biography to Clark, born in Wielsbeck, the second son of a flax farmer who owned a large farm, Terlembeek, there. His two brothers became priests. He was a nephew of Minister Albert, de Clark, father of politician Stefan de Clark, and the brother of Therese de Clark, wife of Willie de Nolf, founder of Roularta. In 1951, de Clark married and Marie Hansens from Galegem. In normal circumstances, he would have taken over his father's farm, but the flax market collapsed around this time and he was forced to look for another source of income. De Klerk decided to produce looms and later carpets. In 1959, he founded the carpet company Beaulieu, which became an international trader in the next few decades. He also became a politically active member of the CVP. In 1991, because of internal struggles between his heirs, de Clark divided his empire among them. Jan de Clark received Domo. Luke became head of Berry Group. Meek of Associated Weavers. Francis Ideal Group. And Beaulieu Cruachoutum and Dominique Terlembeek. Five of his six children kept their head department in Belgium. Only Meek moved hers to the USA. In 1992, Jan de Clark's 11-year-old son, Anthony de Clark, was kidnapped by the gang of Danny Van Hamel. A ransom of 250 million Belgian francs was demanded, but after a month Anthony was freed and the kidnappers arrested. During the 1990s and 2000s, Beaulieu felt more rivalry from foreign companies. In 2005, four branches of the company were merged into one company, Beaulieu International Group, which is still the largest West European carpet group. The only branches that were kept out were Domo because Jan had fallen into dishonor with his father and Beaulieu in America, which Meek preferred to keep independent. At this point, none of the de Clarks was part of the daily management, and in October 2005, de Clark himself also stepped down. Scandals. In 1987, Roger de Clark had his first run-in with the law. He was suspected of having exported large fortune from his companies to foreign countries under the veil of commission fees. A money export of about 15 to 2 billion Belgian francs were traced. He was found guilty, but his punishment was dismissed because his social position and the employment of his personnel could become endangered. In 1989, five business employees, including his sons Jan and Dominique, spent a week in jail in England because they had sold their carpets in black market money. Couriers smuggled the money in their clothing and luggage to Belgium. Two years later, de Clark bought his sons off with two million euro, without any prosecution or conviction coming about. In 1997, Jan de Clark and his partner Martine van de Weg were arrested. An associate of Jan, Ronnie Verhoeven, who was a banker at General Bank in St. Nicholas, had whitewashed black market money through fake commission fees and bills. Verhoeven admitted this fraud in September 1997. In April 1998, Jan de Clark was forced to do the same. Him and his wife admitted the fraud and paid 25 million euro. A year later, they paid another 50 million euro to pay off their overdue personnel taxes and venture taxes. This caused a drift between them and the rest of the family, who kept repeating they were innocent. Roger de Clerc himself was suspected from forgery of documents, gang organization, and violation of the laws for venture taxes. He was also thought to have tried to bribe investigation judges and researchers. The Beaulieu Group was thought to have had paid fake commission payments to a Lebanese business family for years. 
They officially acted as middleman for the sales in the Middle East and Russia. According to the researchers, they were simply strong men. Their commission payments on sold products were meant to scoop off the profits of the Beaulieu branches and were returned to the family in the shape of loans, investments, or black market money. The case kept going for years. In April 2014, it was revealed that a new research was started to clear out suspicions of whitewashing in a Luxembourgian venture. Business shares, which belonged to a Lebanese businessman, were carried over to the de Clark family. Reputation. Despite his massive wealth and large company imperium, de Clark was often nicknamed Boer Clark, Farmer Clark in the media because of his roots in the farming industry, his local dialect, and his simple-minded behavior. He detested this nickname himself. In 1999, de Klerk celebrated his 75th birthday. This event attracted a lot of press attention when he invited world-famous politicians to meet him at his garden party, including Margaret Thatcher and George H. W. Bush. Mikhail Gorbachev was invited too, but had to excuse himself because his wife. She would die that same year. De Klerk's son Jan was not invited because he had fallen into disgrace. Death. De Klerk died in 2015 at the age of 91. Equals equals sources equals equals.